Hey everybody, how's it going? Saturday morning and uh, another video today. This one's kind of cool. Uh, this is my foxtail, my 15 gallon foxtail palm. And it is uh, eight feet tall without a spear. With a spear, it is 10, 11 feet. So as some of you know, it's been at my father's house. What's kind of unique about today is it's outside. So I've gone for a road trip. My dad lives an hour away from me. So this is actually zone 7A. There's a couple of zones that are 7A in Ontario, Canada. <laughs> one of them is by Detroit, Michigan and uh, Windsor. The other one is here in Grimsby Stony Creek, which is kind of near Niagara Falls. Yes, close, but not too close. And this area, what's unique about it is, this is one of the areas where grapes are gro uh, grown to make wine. So this is a very, very big vineyard area uh, where all the Ontario wines come from this area of Grimsby, Niagara. And the reason why is because we are, you know, you can't see it, but Lake Ontario is just down the road there about a, about a half a mile. So what we have here is a microclimate from the lake. The lake does keep this area warmer uh, and the city as well also helps to keep it warm. So the reason why the grapes are growing out this way is because of that microclimate of the lake. Um, it doesn't get too, too cold here in the winter time. Uh, grapes don't do so well in the minus 30s, minus 20s. They have to be in an area a little bit warmer. Uh, also, the lake also keeps this area a smidgen cooler in the summer, which is good for their growth. So anyway, that's a little bit of the uh, 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 background of this area, which is a 7A, a cold 7A. It does get minus 15 here uh, and it can stay there for a while. But today, the special day, we're visiting my dad. The foxtail is outside getting a little bit of wind. And we are going to do is because it's so big, it's hard to water this thing uh, without making a mess in the house. It's too big to fit in the shower or a bathtub. So today it is 12 degrees Celsius. As always, I have my beer. And we are gonna give this thing a good watering. Um, and we're gonna let it soak into the balcony here. We're gonna give it two of these, at least two of these, maybe three. Give it a good soaking, let it uh, drain out, and then it's gonna go back in the house where its home is until the spring. So what we have is some lukewarm water. And this is really hard to do, holding the camera. But I'm gonna dump three of these things in there, let it water really well. And uh, as you can see, Mr. Foxtail is doing really well. It just opened this new spear right there. It just opened this new spear this last couple of weeks. It's still growing out of the crown shaft. But the good news is it also has another spear growing right here. So it's doing really well. We did have a little bit of dead that we cut off, um, which is expected when it's not getting the light in the heat, the heat units. Uh, my dad's house isn't that hot. <laughs> Excuse me. But it is doing well. It's doing not too bad. It's surviving, it's thriving, and it is growing. So we're gonna give it a good water and put it back in the house and bring it out this, uh, this spring. So I was gonna water it for you guys, but the bucket's too heavy for me to hold the camera. It's gonna make a mess. So anyway, its winter home is in the zone 7A in Ontario. There's only two zones or three zone 7As in all of Ontario. And one of them is up here close to Niagara Falls in between Lake Erie and Lake Ontario. And my dad is gracefully enough uh, taking this thing for me for the winter. And he's very proud that it's growing and doing well. So there it is, 15 gallon foxtail. Came originally from Florida. And uh, yeah, I can't believe it. It's January, middle of January, and it is 12, 13 degrees Celsius out, which is unreal, unheard of. But now as climate change is happening. This is happening more and more every year. And uh, you still can't have palm trees out here during the uh, during the winter, because we do get some cold weather, but we are getting more and more warmth year by year. So that's the story, I'm sticking to it. And uh, yeah, guys, when you have nice warm weather like this, get your palm outside, let it fly in the wind, let some rain get on it, get those bugs off of it, water it, spray it off with water if you have to, to get some spider mites off. This tree, is bug free. It is doing perfect. So I'm gonna give it a watering, bring it back inside and uh, enjoy your weekend. Okay, everybody take care.